Okay, uh, just a quick video to say hello to everybody. Uh, I know some of you have questions. Some of you haven't been able to connect with Seesaw. Uh, I, I haven't received a lot of writing examples to, to check or to further correct from the last writings I gave. So I know things are a little upside down right now not having classes, not in school. So let's try to turn things around. Let's quickly try to uh, get an understanding of where we are. And what I want my pet students to do, take your book, but instead of going chapter by chapter, exercise by exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the back of the book and I want you to start looking at some of the examples, some of the things that are explained. Some of it is very basic, but some of it is very, very, very useful. And I think it's something you can do by yourself. I want to start with page 114, 114, 114. Uh, this is chapter 11, 11 uh, grammar and vocabulary. Uh, this is something that we have had a look at earlier in the year and I want you to look through it again. My family and I uh, lived, live in, uh, our house was built in, uh, it is over 500 metres from the sea. These kind of things. I want you to look and see, can you do that? Can you do these exercises? And if you have it already done, I want you to look over and see if it makes sense. It's just a little bit of a revision. That's the same for page... 115 okay as we move on and this is something we have looked at before in class together prepositions of time on page 116 again i just want you to look through some of these uh examples to make sure you feel comfortable now as you get on to some of the harder grammar sections it's not going to be as easy to learn uh, and i would prefer if we're doing it in class with exercises but again, I want you just to kind of quickly look through some of these exercises. Uh, and I need to stress that on, for example, page 143, you will find your irregular verbs, your irregular verbs. And these are mistakes I see people uh, having difficulty with in every exam, whether it's with the writing or whether it's with their uh, speaking. People say, I go on holidays when they want to say, I went on holidays in the past tense. So please, please, you need to look over this. And the good thing for you is, it's only one page in this book. If I was to give you a list from the internet or from other books, it could be four or five pages. It's a short list. Okay, as we move on, we have the writing bank there, page 144, page 145. This is making your writing more interesting and writing an email. Now we've looked at our emails, we've done this in, 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 in uh, uh, mock exams, but it is important that you know how to answer it. Now, some of the most basic things, for example, hi Tom, hello. I've had students who've spelled hello incorrectly. They've done it wrong. So I want you just to try to read through some of these examples I think it's going to be very, very useful if you have time. And I'm not going to send you more uh, exercises to do uh, this week because I really want you to start into that this week. I've already given you some writing exercises uh, and I've already uh, given you a list of some phrasal verbs to start reading through. But I want you to turn it around, go to the back of the book and start looking through some of these examples. It will help. Stay safe. Thank you very much.